Hi, my name is Zach Denfeld. I'm an artist and co-founder of the Center for Genomic Gastronomy. And I'm Connor Courtney, and I'm a microbiologist and a scientific advisor for the Center for Genomic Gastronomy. The Rare Endophyte Collectors Club, or Endophyte Club, is a chance for people to get their hands dirty and do some do-it-yourself biology. So a group of hobbyists come together and look for the small organisms that live inside of plants. This project was particularly good for the Hackers and Designers on and off the grid exhibition because we were helping to design and develop lab equipment and tools that people can use in their kitchen. So trying to create things that you could use in an apocalypse and in a pinch. So over the course of the two days in the workshops, we took things from just the very first principles. We cooked agar, created agar plates, we um, selected our plant samples, identified the types of plants that we wanted to use, um, uh, opened them up and uh, plated them out onto agar plates in order to release the microbes from within. Um, and from that then, uh, those plates will start to grow and we'll start to be able to identify different types of microbes that are inside it. So we wanted to get people to get their hands dirty um, and actually engage with science from a very, very basic level, moving into more advanced and more precise techniques. On day two, um, after the participants did some of the lab work in our impromptu lab in the kitchen, they also made a publication. And so this zine, um, the small rough publication, was a way of expressing visual ideas that we can't quite capture with language, or to um, let our imagination run wild about what science might look like in the future outside of the institutionalized context of white lab coats uh, and perfect sterility. So that publication can hopefully be passed on to future versions of the Endo Fight Club in different cities. One of the things we hope participants take away from this experience is to think more critically about how science is practiced, to demystify some of the processes of science, but also to understand that what we think about and look at in the world is dependent on what's important to us. So if they want to imagine a future with less uh, chemicals, with less petrochemicals, they can build that future with some of these tools. It might take a long time, but we have to dream it first before we can act on it.